Okay, YouTube, what's up? Um, I'm back with another video of this Spider VS2. After my first failed horrible attempt at a video review of the Spider VS2, obviously. So, please don't shoot me down like you guys did last time with one stars and all that. So, you know, I'm I'm trying here. I'm not, I'm not Mike from Tech PV. Um, Aaron. So, here we go. Spider VS2. Um, I bought this from ZephyrPaintball.com and it, from the website it cost about 90 bucks. But I bought the One Star Nitro Kit, which came with this, obviously the VS2. It came with this free upgrade of the Blue Body Kit. I also bought the 14, the, it's a two piece barrel, so I bought the 14 inch. Um, Micro ported blue barrel. Um, it came with a 48 cubic inch 3000 psi air tank by True Energy. It came with this really crappy, really really crappy. I mean, this thing, this thing is crap right here. It's horrible. It came with this mask. It, it, it protects my face, but it sucks. It protects my face, but it sucks. Um, it falls up a lot, so I'm gonna get um, the Z Force Pro Vantage goggles. They're like 30 bucks. I'm gonna get those. I heard they're really good. So um, it came with those goggles, DS2, 48, 30 tank, um, all the stuff I need to clean it. Like a, it came with like a squeegee. It came with all that other free stuff too. It was gonna come with a gear bag, but they they ran out. Came with a T-shirt. It had. What else did it have? What else did it have? What else did it have? Give me a second here. Give me a second here. Came with a barrel stock, obviously. It came with a um, extreme rage overdrive hopper, which isn't too bad because I'm a beginner. I'm like a noob at this paintball, obviously. So it is like ten balls per second. It's not extremely bad. But it, was, it came with it, and the whole one star nitro kit cost like 180 bucks. So, uh, I would say it's a pretty good deal, you know, because the the VS2 with all the upgrade, like the body kit upgrade I have on it, which is the only upgrade I have also. Everything else is stock, but this right here is probably worth 120 right now because the body kit is 20 and the barrel is 10. So that's 30 plus 90 just for the VS2. The tank could easily go for 50 bucks Amazon maybe. So that's already 180. 170 I meant, yeah. <laughs> that's already 170. And basically I'm just paying 15 bucks for an extra raised overdrive hopper, a mask, and some other stuff that I need to clean it. Alright, so let's go with the review. This runs on HPA is recommended. HPA, um, you shouldn't use CO2. You can though. Uh, 25 balls per second has an infinity trigger. It has the um, the eyes, which pretty much every new electromagnetic mark comes with nowadays. Um, it's not really like clamping feet. I mean, I guess you could say it's clamping feet because there's a little piece on the inside that clamps but what is this, this little thing it spins I'll take this off for you this piece right here now this piece is on the inside oh. this piece is on the inside and as this piece spins on it, it it clamps the piece on the inside and onto the hopper so it's somewhat of a clamping feed and if they kind of get over on it it's really it's kind of it keeps the hopper in it does what it needs to do um, comes with a delving bolt. Oh boy, am I out of battery? Am I battery? Left? Yeah, okay. Delving bolt. Here, let me just go ahead and. That's that. It, there's the, um, the, you know, the stuff. The LED lights. Right now, I have it on. The bottom light, the bottom green light means it's on. And the top light, which is off right now, means the, um, eyes are off. So I press the bottom button on the membrane pad 
The red light means it's one safe. It will not fire. Press it again. It will. You can see here, here's the pad. The top button is for power, and the bottom button is for mode. You hold down the mode button. Let's see if I do this right. I do it. Yep. Hold down the mode button. Three round burst. Hold it back down, and you get back to semi. And, uh, let's see here. I have a soft board, which means it only comes with semi and three round burst. Uh, that's, that's eyes off. Push the power button. Just push it. And you put the eyes back on, which means pull the bolt back. It will not fire. Okay. I'm going to get a virtue board, which is like 70 bucks. I heard it's really good. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's that. Do a little bit of walking here. Remember, I'm trapped. I'm, I'm a noob. Do not try to fry me on my walking, because I know it sucks, alright? I, I've, I've been paintballing like, 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 like twice in my life. Yeah, that's whatever. Um, so, what else? Here's the ASA. It's, uh, very, very, very plain. Nothing special. You have this on and off valve, I mean, on and off button thingy to, you know, with the air, you know, all that. Um, macro line, foregrip, low pressure chamber, it operates at 200, um, PSI. That's the, that's, that's the minimum oper operating pressure for this. Excuse me. <coughs> Infinity trigger. I like this shape. I like that shape. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's, it's nice. Um, it's all metal, obviously. It's not aluminum. It's metal. Yeah, it's pretty light. It's not super light, but for the price, I say get it. I mean, I got it. It's really nice. Um, 90 bucks. Really? That's that's the best you're going to get for 90 bucks. All these other crappy things for cheap, like these JTs that they're making, and um, who else makes really crappy ones? Uh, Piranha makes some crappy paintballs on suit. But those ones don't get those. Spider VS2 is where to go. Don't get the VS1. Unless, unless you're cheap and you don't want to use HPA. Hold on, let me see how much time I got left. All right, got a minute and some time. All right, if you're cheap and you do not want to use high pressurized air, then get a VS1. But it's only like 20 balls per second. That's the max, and uh, it uses CO2 also. This it is recommended that you use HPA. Here is the um, what's it called? This little thing right here. This uh, the gauge. It tells you how much air pressure is inside the low pressure chamber right here. That's that. Um, triggers adjustable. I got these blue eye plates up there. Um, it's really nice. It, it works well in wood ball too. Cause I, I went out a few weeks ago and played. Um, it was actually it was two weeks ago. I went out and played wood ball with my friend. He was using his um his Pitman 98C. He had Apex Burrow on it, trying to curve balls or whatever he does with that thing. I don't know. I don't know wood ball. And popped out of the uh from behind my tree, which is, I was using for cover, popped out behind it, and from behind it, tap, 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 got him, right there, headshot, boom, headshot, anyways, so, yeah, that's that, take out the, I'm not running low on time, alright, crap, let me do this quickly, take out the bolt, pop this straight up, bolt slides right out for easy cleaning, has like one o-ring on it, pop it back in, Put it back down. You're good to go. All right. Um, running low on time. Comes with its own battery. Comes with a cleaning kit and everything you'll need. And that's about that. Thanks for watching YouTube. Subscribe, rate. Don't, don't, don't be harsh, man. This is like my second page. So please don't be harsh. I know it has horrible quality, but that's that's that. You know, that's me. I'm using an LG Shine right now. It's LG Shine sucks. I'm using an LG Shine to do paintball or use reviews, you know. So that's you know, just be cool. Thanks for watching YouTube. Thanks. Have a nice day. Comment, rate, subscribe.